in this video we will try to understand the different types of SOC reports SOC 1, SOC 2 and SOC 3 with real practical AWS example as you can see here AWS has listed the different types of reports and what are the main differences between all three of them so we will go through the entire difference list one by one but before that let us try to understand guys what is this SOC 1, SOC 2 and SOC 3 report types and how to select the right one for your organization that's why I'm creating this video okay so what is SOX compliance first of all SOX compliance demonstrates that your customers can rely on the services that you provide that means if you have a large customer base and you are processing their data then SOC compliance is important for you okay so what happens in this so in this process an accountant audits your company and certifies you with a SOC report that you supply to your customers and what this report proves this report proves your trustworthiness that you will make sure that the data is safe and their the customer is safe is with you okay so that is why in order to build your trust with the customer SOC reporting is important guys so now what is the difference between SOC 1 SOC 2 and SOC 3 and let us try to understand so first of all difference between SOC 1 and SOC 2 is SOC 1 primarily focuses on financial reporting guys Whereas SOC 2 focuses on compliance and operations. Okay. So after that, the SOC 3. SOC 3 is basically for the customers publicly. They can see the SOC 3 reporting. It's similar to SOC 2, but, but with a lesser information. So for SOC 1 reports, the entire focus is on the controls related to the financial reporting. Okay. So data center services that you are providing, if you are providing a software as a service, you have to have the SOC 1 reports in order to instill confidence for your customer's financial data, guys. It's very important. Okay. If the clients are providing you with their financial data, financial statements, you have to comply with SOC 1 reporting. <laughs> in both the types of reports SOC 1 and SOC 2 there are two types type 1 and type 2 so type 1 reporting whenever you hear, hear this term type 1 it basically checks the suitability of your controls and your implementation of the controls at a specific point in time guys and whenever you hear about type 2 it basically concentrates on the control designing and the operating effectiveness over a period of time. That is the main difference. Okay. And uh, after that, coming to SOC 2 reports. So SOC 2 basically assesses the five trust services criteria, which are defined by AICPA. And these are common criteria security availability process integrity confidentiality and privacy okay so now here if you are storing and pro protect protecting any non-financial data then SOC 2 reporting is important guys if you are storing any non-financial data okay for your clients and what is SOC 3 report once again it basically sorry it basically adds you as a marketing tool guys you can make it public you can make them available we will also see one SOC report here as well you know let me show you SOC 3 report quickly uh, see this this is a SOC 3 report see it is established by AWS for their <coughs> customers so you can clearly see how they are protecting the information okay so this is a long report i think you can download it from the website of aws so this is SOC 3 report 
okay you can see it yourself real practical software report so now let us understand the differences what are the differences as per aws okay so basically let us start from here i think yeah what is the primary purpose of this reporting okay it basically controls it provides information of the internal controls over financial reporting <laughs> guys try to understand this okay so that they are just building trust to their customers so that they can assure them about their trustworthiness for their financial reporting and financial data guys however when you see soc2 so in soc2 is basically relevant to system security availability and confidentiality okay and suitable suitability of design of aws privacy controls as well okay and the five trust principles which i just spoke about and soc3 if you see this is soc3 at the end okay here it talks about providing customers with independent assessment of aws control environment relevant to system security availability and confidentiality without disclosing any internal information why because it is public <coughs> now who is the primary report audience customers okay clients and again here also clients users with business need here also again clients that's why uh, big uh, uh, you know big companies like amazon are complying with these reports guys because they want to ensure trust and build confidence and trust with their clients okay so here you can see the soc3 report publicly available as well so again you can read more on this over here but now i can assure you that you must have got clarity in terms of why cloud providers are using these reports and what is the importance okay and it is not only aws same is the case with azure same is the case with google same is the case for any saas software as a service provider who is playing with the customer data if it is financial data soc1 reporting has to be present if it is operational data and you are storing there soc2 reporting has to be present and if you are dealing with both then both the reports have to be present and you have to comply with both of them okay and if if now uh, soc2 privacy type 1 report is also there that also you have to comply with if you are dealing with the privacy data guys so all these are very important uh, you know things things that you should know and that's why i wanted to take this example rather than showing you slides uh, so that you can drive this point home and you can yourself see by you know searching this on google that all this information is there and this is a practical example guys so i hope you must have got some value out of this video if yes then please share this video with your friends and whoever needs this information and subscribe to this channel if you have not done already thank you so much for watching